Hello everyone, I am Monica. I am technical trainer in training and placement department at Pace Institute of Technology and Sciences. Now I am going to explaining about the company specific programs in Python programming language. Okay, first problem statement is you are required to implement the following function. In that they given one function that is calculate is the function and it takes the two arguments m and n. The function accept two positive integers m and n as its arguments. You are required to calculate the sum of numbers divisible by both 3 and 5 between m and n both inclusive and written the same. What is the problem statement means here we want to read the two values those values are integer type you want to find out the sum of all the numbers which is divisible by both and both 3 and 5 in between those two values okay for example want to read two integer values m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 30 ok now we want to find the numbers what are divisible by both 3 and 5 the numbers lie in between the range 3 and 30 3 4 5 6 7 and so on up to 30 here we want to take 30 also because in the problem statement they given include the upper limit also that why here we want to consider 30 also that means upper limit value also ok. Now I am going to explain the, this program in editor. Python editor IDLE. Now we want to read the two integer values. In Python, we use input function to read the input from the keyboard. Input function. Okay, by using input function, we can read the input. We can store that value in variable m. Here you can take any variable, but I am taking m. Now I am going to printing m value. Okay, now I am executing before want to save that file. Python file means extension is dot py. File name is testing dot py. I am giving. Now I want to execute this file. F5. Okay. I am reading 5 as a input. It printing 5. But what is the type of file? Here it is not an integer type. It taken as a string type. Because in Python default input function read as a string. Okay, but now I want to perform the operations based on integer input because in problem statement they given read input as a integer. So here now, now I want to convert string to integer. Here we want to use string conversion. Okay, by using int function I am converting string to int. Okay. In problem statement, how many values we want to read? Two values. So, I want to read another value also by using input function. Okay. Now, I want to convert into integer. Why you want to convert into integer? Because default input function read as a string. But want to perform operation on integer. So, want to convert string to integer. Present we read two values m and n. Now, what we want to perform? We want to find out the all the numbers in between m and n. 
how we will get the all the numbers in between m and n by using looping concept here you can use any type of loops for while okay present now i am going to explain using for loop for i here you can take any variable now i am using i variable for i in range function okay range in range function how many arguments we can pass means we are pass three arguments one is starting argument next ending value next step okay if you here starting value is m and ending value is n in python we must and should follow the rule indentation if you are not follow that rule indentation will get the error indentation error what is the rule indentation rule means want to give tab space after colon tab space is nothing but the four four spaces okay now i am printing i because what the values we are getting in i print i i am giving 2 30 m value is 2 and n value is 30 what are what i am getting from 2 to 29 numbers only i am getting but in problem statement i want to include the n value also here n is what 30 okay but i am getting only 29 up to 29 because in range function ending value takes up to n minus 1 only okay that's why i want to use n plus 1 to 30 see the output what i am getting from 2 to 30 okay i get the all the numbers in between the range next what we want to do means the numbers which is divisible by 3 and 5 we want to find out how we can find hash is the symbol for single line comment in python okay in first interpreter comes to for loop i value holds the m value suppose m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 30 now what i value holds 2 because starting value m m holds the 2 now come to inside for loop i modulo divisible by 3 because why i am um, divisible by 3 because they given the condition the number which is divisible by 3 and 5 okay so i modulo divisible by 3 is equal to 0 if it is divisible by 3 means the remainder is equal to 0 if condition is true and it goes to i modulo divisible by 5 is equal to 0 if two conditions are true it moves to if block if conditions means what statement we use if indentation okay print i now i am printing the numbers which are divisible by both 3 and 5 in between the range m and n 2 and 30 the numbers which is divisible by both 3 and 5 is 15 and 30 but the problem statement is just we want to print those numbers we want to print the sum of numbers divisible by both 3 and 5 so here just we print the numbers which are divisible by 3 and 5 but now we want to find out the sum of the numbers which are divisible by both 3 and 5 so i just removing the print statement 
sum is equal to sum plus i. But here you observe that sum is in different color because sum is a predefined function in Python. When you are declaring a variables or using the variables, want to follow the rules. What are the rules? Keywords and predefined functions are not used as a variable names. That's why I am changing the variable name. Sum1 is equal to sum1 plus i. Here I am using sum1. Okay. I want to declare sum1 is equal to 0. Why I want to declare sum1 is equal to 0 means here sum1 is a local variable. If I not initialize any value, it will hold the garbage value. That is why I am initializing with 0. Okay. Just I am printing sum1. What happened? 2 and 30. Okay. Two inputs came. What are those? Initially, sum 1 is equal to 0. When i is equal to 15, 15 is divisible by 3. At that time, same time, 15 is divisible by 5 also. So, condition is true. So, it comes to if block. What is the statement I wrote in if block? Sum 1 is equal to sum 1 plus i. Okay. Sum 1 holds the Someone holds the 0 plus what I holds 15. Now, someone contains 15. Now, again goes to for loop. I value increments. I value increments to 16 and so on up to 30. When 30 came, 30 also divisible by 3 and 5. So, if condition is true, it comes to inside if here sum 1 is equal to sum 1. What sum 1 holds 15? What i variable holds 30? 15 plus 30 is equal to 45. Okay. Here I am getting two outputs. What is that 15 and 45? But I want to print the print statement outside for loop. Okay, now I am executing 2 and 30 and sum is equal to 45. Once see the problem statement, what they given sample input 12 and 50. Okay, 12 m value 12 and n value 50. What is the output? 90. Okay, our test case is passed. Okay. Another input is m value 100 and n value 160. We can check this test case also. m value 100 and n value 120. What is the output? 225. Okay. I hope you can understand this problem statement. It is a company specific problem statement. Okay.